Hello, party people, and welcome back to the Good Airship Hopium. I am your host and captain, Snappy Dude, and today's game of the day is an HK match, and I don't have any idea how I do in this match. Uh, I can tell you that it's probably okay. I probably do decent because I delete most of the <laughs> most of the crap matches that I end up in. So here I am, scooting along. Oh yeah. If I remember right, I get some pretty good decent damage. I just sit up here in turret mode for a minute. Oh, I'm going to chisel down on this team off. Ooh. And I'm just going to fire into this uh, this Margrave shield. And the main reason I was doing that mostly was just to keep him, keep him focused on me. I didn't want him turning around and bothering other people. I'm just going to ignore that fight happening at my feet, I guess. I'm really worried that somebody's going to pop up on there and, and try to take that. But I, I've been getting such good damage in this spot. I'm kind of hesitant to kind of leave it and run away. Even now, like, look at this. Holy cow. They could pressure me and probably get me out of turret mode right here. And they just, they just aren't moving in on me. I probably sat there too long. I admit that. But who cares? Right? Who cares? Let's bring this up a little bit. Let's bring up the volume a little bit. So here I go. I'm over here. I'm shooting down this guy. I haven't played HK. This was one of my first HK matches in probably a month. Uh, I've been playing a lot of... Well, really a lot of Grizelma, really. A lot of Grizelma, a lot of uh, Mozu. Um... Getting chased down here, man. They want me. I don't know if they get me here or not. Oof. I'm just getting a little excited there. Just blowing, blowing my load. Uh, all over nothing. Um, <laughs> let's see where I'm going now. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna hang out with uh, Margaret. Racking up some damage on Margaret. Just kind of shooting at his feet. I'm going to try to get out of here. He might actually kill me here. Oh, thank you, Vadasi. You're wonderful. Wonderful. Man, I don't know when I played this match. It was probably like a week and a half ago. Oh, I remember this part. He, he definitely kills me here. I remember this. Yeah. I don't know why I remember that. I It's just all of a sudden I'm like, oh yeah, I remember this. Because I was kind of hoping, since I was so close to the Guardian, that he would he would kind of get scared off. But uh, that did not happen. That did not happen. I don't know what I was doing right there. I was probably probably looking at myself in the mirror and distracted. So I don't know why I didn't start engaging in this fight down here sooner. I don't really care that he's he's staring at me with his little deflect shield out. That was kind of a waste. I wish I had hit more people, but hey, it's what it is. Oh, I'm going to get double teamed here and probably killed. Uh oh. And now he kills me again. That's why I remember that, because it happened more than once. <laughs> oh, that sounds right. <sighs> As you people can see, I still do not have my rank. For Xbox, I wish I had my Xbox rank. I wish I had it, uh, but I don't. You just can't find matches right now. It seems really good though. This weekend, now they're doing this free Epic thing with the the Epic Game Store, and they're giving away the game for free. It seems like the player count is up. I'm in the middle of the night right now, and I I just got done playing two or three matches in a row. A little difficult finding a game, but not bad. I think all my games were found inside of like five minutes. And, uh, that's exciting in the middle of the night. Because I've been having issues in the middle of the night. Oh, he got me with that deflect. That sucks. Everybody's got deflect. All these melee characters got deflect. It makes me sad. I like bouncing back and forth between these two little points. You're going to bounce back over to this one. Kind of reposition. I like doing that. I, it, it seems like it keeps you out of... Uh, 
That stacked up another 600 damage there. Not bad. 86 on trip. I'm trying to sneak around, maybe hit trip with my railgun. Oh, man. If I had hit that, I probably could have killed fucking Ramsey right there. Ah. Oh, <laughs> snappy. You miss all the good shots, my man. You hit all the shots you don't need to hit, and you don't hit the shots that you should hit. Uh, it's sad. But, uh, yeah, I haven't, um... Haven't been able to find a game on ranked for Xbox. Just well, just a couple. I have like two placement matches left. That's all I want. I just want placed. I don't want to get to Gigantic Guardian or anything like that. I don't have any any high hopes of that. I would just like to get ranked in season one. Just as a thing to myself, as a longtime Gigantic player. Uh, but that might be possible now. That, like I said, this Epic Store thing seems to be going amazingly well. Um, just, just great. Hopefully, it continues on. This whole weekend, I've been finding games like just so fast. Uh, during the day, when it was like peak hours, I was finding games like instantly all day. They were different people every time. It was fantastic. Uh, and you know, we'll see if it continues that way. I'm hoping. Because the thing is, it's hard to rebuild a population when you have slow matchmaking because of player count. Once player count dips low enough that matchmaking suffers because of it, it's a snowball effect. People get on, they can't find a game because there's nobody there, so then they quit playing, and then the next person comes on, and the same thing happens to them because the last person got off two seconds too soon. And if that last person had stayed on just a little bit longer, the second person could have found a match. But it snowballs, and it, it just keeps going until nobody's online anymore. And uh, it's just a, a shitty situation. And there's definitely people out there that still want to play Gigantic. I see every all, all these Gigantic players, I think they're holding out hope. And honestly, I'm kind of glad because I feel like we're getting kind of to this point where everybody's kind of, they still hope for Gigantic. They still want it to be great. But I think a lot of them have just kind of decided to move on for their own sanity. And I think that's good because I think some of them have been too focused the last six months or so on the health of this game and whether or not... Uh, whether or, whether or not we're ever going to see patches that to that bring us to a point where the game is stable, um, and I want that more than anybody. And I think there's other people like me out there that want that more than anybody. But I think the problem is I remember this. I'm way too far up in this bush and I can't see shit, so I just kind of aim. I'm just kind of like okay, let's kind of figure out how I can peek, and then I just kind of point it down where I think they are, and I just shoot. Yeah, this is fun. Just blindly shooting into them. And where their health bar is like, ah, I kinda know he's there. Yeah, I got him, assist. Um But I'm I'm hoping the Doomsayers have been really strong, and I get it, I get it. The you know, shit shit happened. The game shouldn't have released in the state it's in. I don't blame anybody for being a Doomsayer. But I do believe the Doomsayers sometimes are a little obsessed with this game, like like, if you have that big of a problem with the game, if you can't play the game, if you haven't played the game in months, do you really need to be on the Reddit or the Discord trashing the game? I think not. Uh, move on. Go find another game. I'm fine with that. I, I hope... I wish you the best of luck. Um, you know, occasionally stop in, see if anything's fixed. Those people, I'm fine with. Uh, but for the sake of hope, man, you got, you got to realize that the negativity isn't doing anything but driving people away. You drive too many people away... Uh, then they're just going to stop working on the game. And right now, they're still working on the game, so uh, let's <laughs> let's not drive away everybody just yet. It sucks. But anyway, in this game, here I go. Doing up turret mode again. I'm really bad about finding good times to do turret mode and bad times to do turret mode. Really bad about finding, you know, sometimes I sit in it too long and stuff like that. Just, just ridiculous. Oh, I got him with that mortar. That was, ooh, chef's kiss. Fucking right in the butt. I don't know why I shot that wall. No idea. I was probably getting distracted. I, I, I shouldn't game with this mirror next to the console, but I do. I do. I just like looking at myself. I'm beautiful. I'm a beautiful, beautiful hairy man, and I like to see myself. Um, <laughs> he said, here we go. Me and this Taito through this whole match, man, this guy and me, he just likes me. And I don't blame him because I'm a beautiful man. <laughs> here I go. I'm coming over here. I'm going to lay down some fire. 
drive him off of there. I don't know why I did that. I think I was aiming high, and I was just holding down the trigger because I was getting ready. I was waiting for him to come back in here so I could drop that mortar on him. And I get the kill there. I, I pick up Trip. I pick up some good damage on this Woobot and the other people that were down there. Oh, man, I was really hoping that would hit. <laughs> mortar right into there. If I remember right, they killed me right here. Rack up a uh, thousand deaths. Thousand. I I swear I died right there. Maybe I didn't. Oh yeah, here here it goes. Cause I remember thinking, man, I should have ran away and healed. Do I really not die here? I swear I died there. Mandela effect. Just like Shazam. Oh, ooh. That was a good one. That was a beauty. Ah, oh, that was beautiful. That was almost as beautiful as me. I'm gonna be conceited through this whole this whole match. That's the whole thing. HK. Oof. Fun. I love HK. I'm really liking HK. The I don't think in Gigantic Prime I ever played HK. I'm not sure I have a single game in old Gigantic with HK uh, that I can remember. Um, I just remember thinking he was like more tanky than he is. And I, I just remember thinking, I don't want to play a tanky, tanky tank. I like playing uh, DPS characters, but I like the fast-paced ones. I like ones that kind of move around a bit more, drop a fireball on somebody's head, and, and run away. Uh, and I didn't think I would like the slower, heavier, armored uh, HK, but he's not bad. Like, he, he's got some speed to him. His little, his little, uh, he scoots around on his little treads, and he's pretty damn fast. His machine guns fire pretty fast. He can rack up damage pretty quick. There's so many blue circles right here. It's like a sea of Venn diagrams. Here we go. I don't know why I'm standing here. I should be falling back and repositioning. And that's kind of what I'm doing. Help. <laughs> I definitely ended up on some weird geometry and it threw me over the other side of that. I think I was trying to spin around. Oh, look, there's another... Oof, almost a thousand damage before I lost my shots. Oh, if that had hit him, I probably... He probably... He wouldn't have died, I bet, but I bet he would have been... I bet he would have been close. Oh, I'm gonna die. Me and this Taito, man. This Taito. He has my name and my number. He wants to take me out to dinner. And I don't blame him. Uh... I'm doing a lot of damage to their team, and I'm sure he's seeing that. I'm sure that's why he's slipping back to, like, put pressure on our DPS. And, uh, that just happens to be me. I don't know why I keep firing into the, the Margrave shield. Sometimes I get it. Like, sometimes I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, well, I'm, I'm just... You know, if he there's a fight going on behind him, sometimes I'll do it just to to keep him focused on me, because I'd rather have him focused on me than our melee characters. But that's that's definitely not the case right there. I don't know why I was doing that. I was kind of hoping they were all gonna fall into. I can already tell you what I was thinking. I was hoping they were all gonna do this, which is kind of fight down here in the middle, and that I could uh, rack some damage up. I think I get some good damage. I think I just sit over here for a bit. And then I think somebody sneaks up and kills me. And I forget who it is. It's this this person right here. No? Is it? No. Maybe this wasn't the match that I'm thinking of. One, of the, one match I ended up over here. And I sat there and I shot up in the middle like that for a good while. <laughs> and I got some... I was laying down tons of damage. And I remember I was just sitting there so long. And somebody snuck up on me and killed me real quick. Uh, but apparently it wasn't this this time. Maybe maybe it's later in the same match. <laughs> maybe it's right now. But I'm racking. Look at this damage. Just just great. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot diggity dog. Holy shoots. And ladders. Here I go. I'm stinky right now. I laid some poison down. I got a nice little angle on that. It took me way too long to start shooting. I'm way too long to start shooting again. I'm probably distracted by something. Who knows? Maybe... Maybe I was looking at that mirror again. 
this was kind of interesting because I did shit ton of damage right there. I got a kill. Woo! Um, I'm kind of amazed by that because I didn't know how far that lock-on would work right there. Or, or if any of those missiles would hit at all. I mean, it was just kind of a fluke. I just figured I was going to waste my, my focus. And I didn't end up wasting it. Like, it ended up working out pretty good. Here we go. Scootering around. I'm going to change position. Because now I feel like maybe... Maybe after that focus and stuff, they're kind of catching on to where I'm sitting. And maybe... I should, uh... Reposition. Or move over here. Look at that. Purple and white Vadasi. Ooh. That Eternal Masters Vadasi is... Is nice. I'm going to go back up here and take this same place, but I'm trying to learn my lesson from last time and not be up in the leaves. Ah, and they win. But, hey, I did a lot of damage. Let's see if I actually let it load the scoreboard. I know one of these matches I've saved, I don't let it load the scoreboard, and it drives me nuts. I got an A. Ooh, we an A. Ooh, I got suppressive fire to gold. Let's go. Skip this nonsense. Five kills, four deaths, eleven assists, and thirty-two k damage. Second in damage on my team. Uh, what is that? Uh, third or fourth in the match. Not bad overall. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me on the Airship Hopium. Uh, until next time, y'all. Snap it out, y'all. Bye.